Hi, this is Rob Hanley for the Durham Duplicate Bridge Club on Tuesday, April the 4th for the 399er game. We have three hands for you today. The first one is number one. As you can see, I have 15 high card points, four hearts, five clubs, and two doubletons. So you might be tempted to open a club on this, but I'm actually going to open one no trump. And there's a couple of good reasons for that. The first is if I open a club and my partner bids, say, a spade or even one no trump, what's my bid? Uh, if partner had a nine count for their one no trump bid, we might be on for three no trump, but I don't really have a hand that's strong enough to make a direct raise to two no trump that would tend to show 17 to 19 points. Uh, and a two club bid is going to be a bit of an underbid because I'd never pick up partner's nine count and my hand isn't strong enough for reverse with two hearts because that shows 18 to 21. Uh, the second reason that I'm going to open one no trump is because I have what are called tennis positions. Uh, in uh, my doubletons. So that's something like, as you can see here, king doubleton. It could also be ace queen doubleton. And the thinking is that when the, the opponent on my left leads my short suit, he will be into my king doubleton rather than through it. So it's protected, if you will. So all in all, one no trump is a much better bid than one club. It's also, also worth mentioning that Opening one no trump does not deny the possibility of having two doubletons. The actual legal definition says that it has no singleton and no void. So one no trump it is. And from partner. And partner's jump to three spades. So when I respond in a major to partner statement bid, three of the other major by them shows a slam going hand in the major that I have shown. So in this case, three spades, completely artificial. It says my partner has hearts and they're looking for slam in hearts. Uh, so I'm going to just cooperate and do sort of follow along with my partner's suggestion. I'm going to bid four clubs. I'm safe in doing this because we are still below game and let's see how it goes. Four hearts. Now at first glance, this looks like a sign off in four hearts, but let's remember that partner was slamish and partner uh, has four hearts. This is about hearts, slamish. So why would partner bypass diamonds? Because they don't have anything in diamonds. So they don't have the ace and clearly they can't have the king of diamonds. The good news is if I'm playing the contract, the lead is from my left and all the way around to me. So even if the ace is on my left, my king of diamonds is protected, the suit can't uh, there's no, no two quick losers. It's also worth mentioning that if my partner had a singleton diamond or a void in diamonds, they likely would have bid four diamonds to keep the auction alive uh, since it's a little more positive than just signing off in four, spay, four hearts. rather. So four, four hearts, not a complete sign off, just sort of telling the picture. And because my king of diamonds is protected, I'm actually going to bid four no trump because I think it solves partner's problem. And the partner has two key cards. Now, a quick look shows that I have two key cards, the king of hearts and the ace of clubs. And I also have the queen of hearts. So we are missing uh, an ace. Uh, and I'm guessing it's the ace of diamonds because partner skipped diamonds. So I'm off to six hearts. Now let's see what we've got here. Well, there's the ace of diamonds. All right, so small diamond. All right, so, so far so good. I'm going to take the heart here. Now, I'm gonna play a small heart to the ace. Uh, I'm doing this in case for some strange reason the heart split particularly poorly. The only way I could pick up a bad split is if the robot on my right had four to the jack. So it's safe for me to do it this way. It didn't happen this time, but it never hurts to be cautious. So all the hearts are out now. And it looks like those spades are going to take all kinds of tricks. Now, you'll see there are seven spades. I have two. That's nine. So there are only four outstanding. And everybody has followed. So they are at worst 3-1, which means the rest of the spades are winners. All right. So I'm just going to claim at this point all the rest of the spades are good. And I have the hearts. All right. So we made six spades. So now that we can see all four hands... Uh, it's, it's hard not to discuss the elephant in the room, which is that seven card spade suit. Uh, why didn't my partner show it? Um, 
on this hand, you can make six spades as well as six hearts. Uh, and there isn't a whole lot of difference between the, the play on the hands. It just happens to work out well uh, because the hearts split. Um, however, first off, Stamen promises a four card major and my partner has one. Uh, if my partner did, if I had not had four hearts, I think my partner would have gone looking for uh, slam and spades. Uh, and secondly, if you have a 4-4 fit, you have a long suit on the side that you can run for discards. So by having that spade suit on the side, my partner's in a position, or I'm in a position when I'm playing the contract, that I can discard things on those long spades. So it's not bad that we're potentially in a hard fit instead of spades. Um, all right, so let's uh, pause while we move on to the next hand. All right, we're back this time with hand number 11. All right, so one diamond on my left, pass, and three diamonds on my right. You'll notice in the upper right corner of the screen, it says that the three diamond bid is weak, showing five or more diamonds, and for the robots, less than nine high card points. Uh, this is because the robots are playing two over one with inverted minors, uh, so one diamond, three diamonds is weak. So uh, I have an awesome hand. Uh, I have uh, 19 high card points. I actually have a three loser hand. Uh, I have one heart loser, one club loser, and one diamond loser. Had I been the dealer, I would have opened this hand two clubs. So uh, the question is, how do I proceed at this point? Should I double? Uh, should I just bid a suit? Um, obviously, if I bid one of the majors, I would have to guess which one to bid, and I'd have to guess where to go. I think it's safe to say with this distribution and only three losers, I want to be in game. Absolutely. I'm actually a little strong, but uh, certainly uh, uh, good enough to force the game here. So there is a specific bid which shows 5-5 five, five in the majors in this kind of circumstance, and that is a bid of four diamonds. So I'm Q bidding the opponent's suit. This obviously cannot be natural, uh, and it specifically shows 5-5 five, five in the majors and enough that I want to be in four of a major. So let's see what partner does. And they've picked one with four hearts. All right, so they have a whopping three count. Uh, and it looks like I have a club loser, a diamond loser, and the ace of hearts is a loser. So the play really isn't that difficult in this case. It's just going to be a question of drawing the trump. The spades are likely going to run. Now, uh, Declare is running the spades rather than drawing the last trump because it's uh, it's just the ace. And if South had had a whole bunch of uh, spades as well, there might have been a discard there. But it wouldn't have made any difference in the final result. So at this point, uh, Declare's going to take 10 tricks, all the rest are good. Uh, there's no more trump out and the spades are good. All right, so uh, a really cool way to show five five in the majors, uh, just jumping to four of that minor. Um, all right, so we're going to pause while we change for the final hand. All right, we're back with the final hand. This one is number 16. So pass to me. Flat nine count, looks like a pass. Partners open to heart. Uh, I still have the same nine count, it's balanced. Uh, I'm just gonna bid one no trump. Partner has bid two hearts. Two spades, two spades rather, not two hearts, two spades. That's a reverse. Uh, my partner has bid uh, a higher ranking suit than the one they opened at the one level, at the two level, and that constitutes the uh, reverse, and it shows 18 to 21 high card points, uh, and obviously four spades and five or more hearts. So um, I have nine high card points. I have both minors to the ace 10. So I think I think I feel fairly safe in bidding three no trump. I don't really like either partner's uh, suits. In a, in a pinch, I might have bid four hearts or four spades, but I don't think I need to here.
All right, club lead. So it looks like I have two spades and two hearts is four and a club and a diamond makes six. I need to find three tricks. So um, I have a potential, the only way for me to take three tricks in spades is if the queen of spades is on side and the spades split three, three, because if the queen was on side and they covered the queen jack, I'd still have to have the spades split three, three. Uh, so that's actually about, about a uh, 15 or well, no, 17% chance, something like that. Not good anyway. Uh, so uh, in the diamonds, uh, in general, I'm going to have to find the king of diamonds onside. Uh, although I ha I'm only missing the king, the nine of diamonds could drop. Something else could happen. You never know. Uh, there's no extra trick availability at hearts because of the clubs. I can't afford uh, the club lead. I can't afford to lose too many tricks off the top. So uh, as far as the clubs go, let's see what happens when I cover with the eight. There's the queen. So there are, if that's a fourth best lead, there are six cards that are bigger than the five in the south hand, the west on my right, and myself. So the eight is bigger, the queen is bigger, that's two, and I have three that are bigger than the five, so that's five, and there's only one outstanding. So the question is, does west have the, uh, the seven, the nine, the jack, or the king? So they don't have the jack because they played the queen, uh, they could have the king, and they could have the nine, and they could have the seven. Uh, so there's not too much information there, but it never hurts to get into the habit of paying attention to what that lead might mean. So here I can take the ace of clubs, or I can duck. So you may have heard me or other people talking about declare play and referencing a term called the danger hand. In this case, I want to keep west on my right off lead, because I don't want them leading through my clubs. If East has all the club cards, then they're gonna be forced to, they can take their winners, but they'll have to come to me. So that means West is the danger hand because they're in the position to lead through my weakness. So everything I do should be about keeping that from happening. So I'm going to take the Ace of Clubs now, rather than ducking a couple of times, uh, because I don't wanna to put too much stress on how I play the hand the other way. And let's see how it goes. So I'm going to start by playing a spade to the king. And I'm going to take a diamond finesse. All right, follow suit. That's good. Okay, here goes. And the queen held. Great. So I'm going to follow that up with the jack. It's covered with the king. And I'm taking the ace. And east on my left is shown out in diamonds. Now, initially, you might be a little concerned about that. Uh, but in fact, it's good news because I know that West has the nine then. So once I cross back to the dummy, I can finesse West for the nine of diamonds and I'll take all the diamond tricks and my contract is safe now. That's good. So uh, I'm going to go back in hearts and I'm going to play a diamond. Oh, there's the nine. And I'm going to pay the eight. All right. So I've got seven tricks and there are two uh, aces in the dummy. They're the guaranteed tricks. I still can't afford to go down on here by being silly with the, uh, and letting them in because then they'll just fire clubs at me. So I'm actually just going to cover or run my tricks. I'm going to play the jack of uh, spades here because why not? East might cover, uh, but when they don't, I'm not going to fool around. I'm just going to take my ace. All right, and I, I've made nine tricks. That's always good. And here come the clubs. All right, so I took nine tricks. That's all that matters here. All right, well, uh, thanks very much. We'll see you next time, thanks.